today we are gonna play with some viral makeup, some new makeup, makeup that I'm really excited and I have been dying to play with. So it's a whole collection of new things. And as always, I'm really excited about it because I'm always excited to play with makeup. So today's video is actually sponsored by She Glam. I am going to be digging into this package right here. We are gonna be playing with the Liquid Fam. Let me give you a little sneak peek. Oh my gosh, we're gonna do some trendy highlighting and contour with this as well. I've had a lot of questions about She Glam from you guys. So thank you She Glam for sponsoring today's video. We will get into that once we get into the contouring portion of this video. So let's just go ahead and get started. So for primer, I just wanted to try something new, something that was in my to try bin. So I have this little sample of the Tarte Hydrating Primer. I love a good hydrating primer. I do have more dry skin. I got this as a free gift with purchase when I made a huge Ulta order on a lot of Tarte stuff. So let's see. It looks like kind of a normal hydrating primer. I feel so satisfied when I try out a sample size because I'm really bad about it. I hoard all of my samples and never use them. So finally I dug into the sample drawer for this one. Ooh, it has a very light coconut scent. Oh my gosh, I really like this. It has some thickness to it. Like you know how some hydrating primers are really thin and lightweight, which I really like, but I feel like they tend to not have as long lasting hydration. This one feels like it's going to last a long time. Wait a second. This is really nice. I like this. If I didn't have a hundred primers in my collection, I would purchase the full size of this. This feels really good. Okay, cool. For foundation, you guys are not ready. So if you've watched my channel, you know one of my favorite foundations of all time from the drugstore is the Catrice HG Liquid coverage foundation they have reformulated it so they sent me this in pr can't believe it it says now even better and only ten dollars so what's new and improved is it's now with skin perfecting niacinamide waterproof sweat proof and transfer proof and no microplastic particles and i don't know what the price was before but it says we've reduced our price to make it even more accessible so this is amazing i'm gonna have to do a side by side i'm not gonna do it today i just want to see how i like it without having the other one but this I wore oh my gosh I remember foundations by occasions that I've worn them to just makeup in general palettes lips all of that but I remember wearing this foundation to my very first like it was a first stage interview to become a teacher for a job that I did eventually get my first teaching job actually I don't know this foundation I remember thinking before that interview like my skin looks flawless <laughs> so let's go ahead and do it this is my favorite full coverage foundation from the drugstore so hopefully it's still the same amazing full coverage foundation still in the same dropper packaging I got the shade hazelnut beige I do not know if this is gonna be a good shade I think it is though okay so I'm just gonna spread it out along my face we'll start off with just this much it was pretty full coverage prior to the reformulation I wonder why they reformulated formulated it. Like normally I'm pretty sad about reformulations. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. I have been using this brush so much because it's double-sided with two different brush sides. So I've been using it for foundation and concealer. It's a really nice foundation brush now that I've been turned into a foundation brush user. So beautiful. I feel like every time I've used this foundation, like the old formulation, I always over applied because it would look a little bit much, like too perfect, you know? So I tried not to apply too much, but I always get carried away. I'll apply a little bit more here and on the chin. And then this side lagged a little bit of product. Oh my God, it looks amazing. It gave the same full coverage. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think this is still going to be one of my favorite full coverage foundations from the drugstore. I can't wait to do a side by side. It looks amazing. So I'm really excited about this. Oh my gosh. Thank you Catrice for sending that to me because I definitely would have purchased this on my own. Just feel like it's like it's a matte foundation, but it's so perfecting and it gives that full coverage. It's perfect for winter. Okay, let's continue on before I lose my mind. So I've been using this concealer. I haven't yet 
told you about it on camera. But this is my current favorite new concealer. I've tried a lot of new concealers lately and this one just like stomps and trumps all of them. This is the Milk Makeup Concealer. So good, I bought it on a whim. Didn't even think about it, honestly. Didn't plan on picking this up. Like it didn't catch my eye when it launched. It's so stinking good. So I have mine in the shade 9N. I had to use it in this video because I needed to tell you how much I've been loving it. So it has such a smooth finish to it, really soft. I found a lot of concealers lately just haven't been looking smooth on my under eyes. And I was thinking like, am I aging or are my under eyes dry? Like what's wrong? Why do these concealers look a little thicker? Why do my under eyes look more textured? Then this concealer came and I was like, no, it's not me, it's the concealers. At least that's what I wanna believe. <laughs> because this concealer gives me that smooth under eye that I've been missing and I feel like it looks really hydrated as well. I did apply an eye cream before that. I've been doing that a lot lately because I felt like those concealers were making my under eyes look not good. Using under eye creams helps with that but this concealer. Thank you Milk. This is one of the best concealers I've tried this year. One of the best new releases. This is definitely going in the Sephora recommendations video for you guys because wow see it looks so smooth and it's really good about not creasing too much or anything like that so i'm excited about that um, and then let's quickly do my eyebrows i have this from lottie london lottie london is a great affordable brand i have a lot of stuff that i actually want to try from them but we're gonna start off with this so this is the arch rival micro fine brow pen i haven't tried this yet but let's go ahead and give it a go i'm not completely sold on the brow pen i love brow powders and brow pencils are a close second but let's see this is in the shade brown i might have to go in and doctor with my own products later but i wanted to give lottie a little love okay this brown shade's quite warm you see she's really really warm it's okay i'm gonna have to go in then with a brow pencil that's not so warm to kind of cool this down and now because you guys can see i have really cool dark close to black brown hair so i don't like when my brow pencils have too much warmth in it unless i'm doing a really warm makeup look then it's not so bad the product itself is nice but i think it deposits a little too much product as you can see how uneven it looks so i wouldn't say i'm in love with this in fact, with it being the color that it is, on top of it just spewing out a little too much product, mm, not my favorite. Benefit and Urban Decay does a better job with their brow markers. Gonna try, brush it out a little bit. Eee. Okay, so this one is the fail for today. <laughs> it's not very nice. Eee, no. Uh, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go in with just a normal brow pencil and then use some concealer to clean up all the smudging down here and so I'll be back. So this was a, a fail of a new product, unfortunately. The brows are a little warm today, but it'll be fine. <laughs> I went in with the Benefit Micro Filling Brow Pencil and then my Sigma Clear Brow Gel and we're good. It's good enough. We'll live. Let's get into the bar that I'm the most excited about, which are the She Glam Liquid Fam items. I've seen these. They've gone viral all over TikTok. They have over 10,000 positive reviews online. And I actually was planning on buying these because you guys have been wanting to see a review on She Glam products. And they actually reached out. The timing was perfect. So I'm excited. The PR box that they sent me is just absolute insanity, right? And then I have all of their formulas. We have the liquid contours, the liquid blushes, and then their newest formula, which is the liquid highlights. So we have some new shades in here as well, which I'll talk about. I don't even know where to begin, <laughs> but let's go ahead and give these a try. They also sent over some different ways to apply the products. Let me pick one. Let's see. One of the cards has a lifted look, so I'm going to try and do this. I've never done my makeup with the bronzer, blush, and highlight on Blended, but I'm excited to try it like that. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. So let's start off with the sunscreen 
Sculpt Liquid Contours. They come in seven different shades. They just launched three new shades. And the packaging, and this is new across the board for all of the formulas, has this new twisted component, which looks very high quality. And there's a little ball inside, so you want to shake it before you can hear it when you shake it, so that you get the most saturated color, particularly in the blushes you want to do that. And then they have this cute air cushion sponge tip, which makes it easier to apply and control, and it looks so cute when I see it on TikTok. I think I'm going to do the shade Terracotta. It's a little dark, so I'm going to go light with application, but I really like the undertone of it. Their shade range has so many different good undertones. They have some really cool contoury ones. They have some very warm ones. You can mix and match. We're just going to go with Terracotta today. And as far as the blushes go, there are two different formulas. There's the Color Bloom Liquid Blush, and then the Color Bloom Day Gloom Liquid Blush, which has more of a glow to it. So the Day Gloom has four different shades, and then the original Bloom has eight different shades. So this blush is the one that's super viral and has those 10,000 reviews. Again, the same packaging as the Liquid Contour, and it's a cream gel formula with skincare benefits such as vitamin C for glowing skin. And we're gonna play with this formula. I'm really excited. You know, it's supposed to have a really pretty natural finish, not look cakey and be long wearing. And then it's gonna leave like a radiant finish. So I'm excited about that. And then I also get to try their newest formula, the Glow Bloom Liquid Highlight. It comes in three shades right now, and it's supposed to have a dewy yet buildable formulation that's light as air and hydrating and lasts a long time. So it has white packaging, but the same component, except it's a longer sponge tip applicator. Okay, card is here in front of me. This is what we're gonna emulate. I'm gonna start off with the liquid contour. I'm gonna use the shade Terracotta. So shake it up. We're gonna do three dots. You can see much of it. And then we also have kind of on the higher point of the cheekbone right here. And then right here as well, like filling in this area to create more of an oval effect. Okay, do we look good? Let's get into the blush. I chose the shade birthday suit, which is kind of a more nude warm color. I don't know. I wanted it to go with my eyebrows. Shake it up and then you're going to put it like right here. This has like kind of a very whipped, lightweight formula. Oh, I forgot to do the nose. Now nose is something I find to be pretty personal, but I'm gonna do my best. Might have applied too much and I put this way too high, but we're gonna work with it. <laughs> okay, and then highlight. Very interesting, in the card, they have the highlight. I'm using the shade Tea Cake right here right here and right here and now we blend now the trick for blending is to start off with the lighter colors where's my sponge i'm going to use a damp sponge for this so i'm going to start off with the highlight that's so pretty the color the placement we'll see about okay let's get the blush now Ooh, this is actually quite a sheer formulation, so it's not overwhelming at all. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna apply a little bit more probably after to bring out the warmth, but this is gonna be really great for those of you that are intimidated by this kind of thing. All right, and let's blend the contour, and it's blending so easily, even though I was a little worried because these have been sitting on my face. I don't normally do this contour pattern on my face. I really like what we did here. I think it looks good. Wow, okay. Really easy blendable formula. And then I'm actually gonna use something smaller though for my contour, just cause the nose is picky. Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks really cool. I've never used this kind of shape to contour with. Okay, I do actually want to apply a little bit more blush because why not? I love blush, so. And then let's do a little bit more of the highlight, and I feel like when you mix the highlight in as well, it makes the blush more glowy and pretty. So I'm just like gonna go in and mesh these two together. No joke, these are so cool. Not saying that because it's sponsored. These are super nice. I see the hype. The glow that the highlight gives is so stinking pretty. The blush just blends in seamlessly with the makeup you have on underneath. And even though I thought this terracotta color was really intimidating, it blended out really, really beautiful. Okay, um, 
Wow, she Lam, these are really fun products, even applying it in a trendy way was super exciting <laughs> and it worked out really well. My skin looks, honestly, I feel like it made my skin look smoother. I don't know, maybe that's in my head, but I think it looks so stinking good. So um, I will have the link to purchase these down below if you are interested, definitely recommend these. Pick up a few colors, they offer so many, so many different undertones, finishes, all of that. The hype is real. I'm excited, let's continue on. So to set my face, I am going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Powder because I want to brighten some areas around my face to make the contour that I did even more defined. This is a powder I've tried a few times. I'm still kind of testing it out, so that's why I wanted to use it in today's video. So I'm gonna use a refer brush. I'm just gonna set the under eyes right under here because some of the highlight did over blend a little bit, a little bit closer to the eye than I I wanted to so this is gonna kind of help mat that down the chin the forehead oh my gosh I love how my nose looks and I'm gonna build it up right here in this strip without the contour do you see how that just really emphasizes the contour looks really pretty I like this powder a lot by the way I really like the color of it for this in terms of helping to sculpt the face I think this would be a great powder if you use powder underneath like a smoothing powder and then went in over with this over top to add that extra brightness. I mean, it looks pretty nonetheless, setting on its own. Let me get some on the side of my nose. I don't normally sculpt so much, so I'm vibing right now. Now for eyes, I've been waiting to play with this very, very impatiently, but I wanna try the Alice in Wonderland collection with Sigma Beauty. So I thought that this eyeshadow palette was such a stunning curation of colors. We have some blues, some greens. I mean, these are colors that I really, really, really love. They did a beautiful job with this. I'm gonna do one I and I'll be right back. I mean, this is a very classic look for me, but you guys, this is a legitimate, like, get ready with me. I'm going places after this, so I wanted to do a look that matched my blush. So we went with the warm side, but as you can see in this palette, there's a whole other dimension that I have to play with. But so far, so good, because I have mixed feelings about Sigma's eyeshadow formula. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. But we're gonna start off with Twinning right here, which is kind of a really cool mustard color. Great for fall. I'm using a Wayne Goss number three brush and this is just going to be the transition color i'm changing my shirt after this i don't know i i didn't know we were gonna go warm today for the makeup but this is a beautiful fall look by the way that's still wearable you know it's not crazy nobody's gonna be able to see you a mile away not that that's a bad thing this shade is so pretty i love the undertone of it and you can see it just blended beautifully with an alamar cosmetics brush we're going into q heart right here or queen of hearts i guess anyways so this shade it's not my favorite i just feel like it doesn't give me the pigment and depth that I wanted. So in the past with Sigma shades, I found some of them hard to blend with the matte. Mattes, by the way. Found some of their mattes hard to blend. Didn't experience that this time, so this is good. But I found that this one kind of overblends, doesn't hold its color as good. As I say that, it's like working out really well. So uh, it's gonna make a liar out of me. It does not like what I just said about it. But this shade's okay in terms of formula. Not bad like I've dealt with from Sigma. And then we're gonna go into this shade right here. It's just a dark cool tone. I'm using the same color and I'm focusing the depth out here. Now I've only used three matte shades in this palette. I have a ways to go in terms of testing. So this is not a final impressions. Make sure you stay tuned for what will be a very large monthly palette rankings at the end of October, November-ish, where I will have used this a number of times more. I can kind of tell you my thoughts on this, but it's a good Sigma experience. I've been enjoying their palettes a lot more lately. I feel like they've improved their formula. I mean, you can see we have a pretty good fall blend here that looks very nice. Now, I love the shimmers here. So I'm just using Tea Party. I had to use this, okay? As much as I want to use this side, I need to use the green. It was calling me out. It doesn't have a very strong color base to it, as you can see, but the sparkles on it are just 
stunning. So you can build it up enough and it doesn't take too much building up, but when you build it up, you can see we have something stronger now and it is gorgeous. So just like that. And then get the lower lash line as well, inner corner. So this shade's the star of the show. We wanted this to lead the way on the eyelid. Oh, I'm gonna even go higher with it so that it's showing through even more because I just love the way that it looks so much. See, my makeup looks gorgeous now. <laughs> And then I'm taking a little pencil brush and we're going into Mr. Walrus right here, which is kind of a mid-tone gold, nothing too special. It's very pretty though, very smooth application. I'm just applying it here. Some shimmer shades won't apply good with a pencil brush. This one is. And I feel like this added the prettiest touch, just doing that little bit. I am applying some out here. So this is just gonna blend the gold in with the brown. Not that it had a hard time, but I don't know. I feel like, again, it just adds a really subtle touch to make the look more detailed and pretty. And that's the eyeshadow look, which you gotta admit this look is gorgeous. You know, I'm tentative when it comes to Sigma palettes. I love their color stories. Haven't had the best luck with formula. Uh, at least this side right here, I mean, a thumbs up for sure. A couple of the matte shades I'm like, eh, about, but totally workable, like not hard to work with at all. Just needs a little bit of building up in some cases. But this eye look, stunning. I feel like fall with this eye look. I think it looks so stinking good. For eyeliner, let's do a dark, dark brown. I've been really enjoying using brown eyeliner, so I'm gonna use this new color that I've never tried from Hourglass. I've tried this eyeliner before. It's a great quality eyeliner. So this is the Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Cave, and it's just a really dark, cool brown, which is gonna have great contrast against the eye look. So these have a really long wear with a very smooth application. So I'm just gonna create a wing, lift up my eye a little bit since the look is technically lifted with what we did with the cheeks. And then just pop this along the lash line. You're looking for a really nice, high quality, long wearing gel eyeliner and you're okay with spending a little bit of a pretty penny. I mean, the hourglass formula is very nice. And you can see it applies so smooth. And they have some really nice colors too. Okay, liner is done. Yes, you can still get precision with a gel eyeliner. The trick is to use your nail, literally to blend it out and then concealer. I don't want to open up a new mascara for today's video because my mascara drawer has like multiplied. So I'm gonna use the Merit Volumizing Mascara and then the lashes I've been obsessed with are these from Velour. These are in the style Cloud Nine. So I'm gonna pop these on off camera and then we'll finish off with the lips. For lips, let's do a good fall lip. I've been loving like a dark brown eyeliner and then like a peachy lipstick. So I have this new lip liner formula that I'm trying from Catrice. These are the plumping lip liners and I'm gonna use the shade Go All Out. And these are one of those automatic pencils that has a sharpener on the side or on the back. The shade has a little bit of red in it. I thought it would be more brown, but it's a really smooth application. Oh, this does have a little bit of like a, like that minty scent and feeling that you get from a plumping lip gloss. It's not strong, like I don't feel it on my lips, but I can smell it. Anyways, it's gonna be plumping nonetheless, just with the darker outline and then the lighter inside color. So for lipsticks, I'm choosing this one from a ColourPop collection that came out a bit ago. It's available at Ulta or at least was. So this is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade The Lounge. I've used this a couple times. I'm gonna put it in a speed reviews very soon, so I wanted to use it today. I love ColourPop lipsticks. So this is a really good peachy color, which goes pretty good with the lip today as well. So the thing with ColourPop lipsticks, they are super high quality feeling. They just don't last the longest, but as long as you reapply, they're fine. They're super hydrating, really nice. That looks super good. Great for fall. Let me get myself together and then we'll kind of go over the best and the worst of what I tried today. So here is the fall look. I think it looks fantastic. I love my makeup today. So a quick overview. Pretty much everything was amazing. I'll talk about what wasn't, but really enjoyed the Tarte Hydrating Primer. Extremely hydrating, gorgeous formula. The Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation Reformulated. I'm gonna have to do a side by side, but I think this might be better than the original. Something about it seems more 
hydrating and smoothing. Don't hold me on that yet. I haven't done a side by side, but regardless, this is an amazing formula. Best full coverage foundation at the drugstore, if you ask me. Really love this Milk Makeup Concealer. One of the best concealers that have launched recently. Obviously, She Glam is fantastic. I feel like these played really well with the Catrice foundation and that everything just looks so perfected and smooth. I don't know, and I just had a lot of fun contouring <laughs> with it today and shaping my face in a way that I don't normally. I'm really excited I have the whole collection, honestly, because I will continue to be playing with these. The biggest fail for today was probably the Lottie London Arch Rival Micro Fine Brow Pen. First of all, it, it was just a warm color for me, and two, it applied really uneven and it looked splotchy in my eyebrows, so not as big of a fan of that, unfortunately. I tried this Hourglass Eyeliner Color. Gorgeous color, great for fall. It's not quite black, but really dark. And you guys didn't see this, but off camera, I did apply the same eyeliner in the shade Solstice, which is like a dark gold in my waterline. This is really pretty as well, and these last a good time in the waterline. So very happy with these colors. These are both great for fall eye looks. Oh, I also use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. Very, very nice powder. Was great with all of the sculpting that we had going on. I've been enjoying this. Patrice's new lip liner formula, very nice, very easy to apply. We'll see with wear time on this, but I think it, it seems to be really good drugstore lip liner. And then of course, I mean, I know I've used this a few times actually. I need to put it in a speed reviews already, but this is a great fall lip color. Almost everything was absolutely amazing today. Really excited about this look. Very happy I decided to get ready on camera today. Oh my gosh, duh. One of the most important things, the Sigma Alice in Wonderland palette. We'll see how the cool side is over here, but I think I got a really gorgeous look. If you can get this palette on sale, that's when I recommend to pick up Sigma. So far, so good, but I'm gonna have to continue to keep you guys updated. But one thing I can say is this green might just be worth picking up the palette. Like, look at that. I love when Sigma does shimmers like these. Okay, seriously, that's all I have now. Um, I will have everything that I use in today's video linked down below. And of course, I will have all of the She Glam products that I used today linked in the description box as well. Again, a huge thank you to She Glam for sponsoring a portion of today's video and allowing me to play with your most viral products. They're so fun. I had such a fun time. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.